Hey guys, another video for you. Uh, this one is on the Kenwood TK3101 and uh, how to program it and what you're going to need to program it. So, the first thing you need to know about this old Kenwood TK3101 uh, this is a DOS programming is what this radio requires DOS programming programming would be the Kenwood KPG KPG 48D DOS program is what you need to program this radio with. So the computer I'm here is an old Windows 98 second edition version 4.10.2222A and uh, the computer is a Pentium 2 processor with 32.0 megabytes of RAM She's a real speed demon, this one. So, once you have your uh, KPG48D installed, you will show uh, an indicator on your desktop, such as that. So you just click that to get the uh, program running on your desktop. So we're open the program. And that's the program right there. As I said before, this is a, uh, a DOS-based program. And uh, press indicate start. So then we're gonna click Alt. You zoom out here, zoom. Result, go press Alt, and this is how you get to your menu up on top. We're gonna go to Model, press Enter, hit Spacebar until 3101 comes up, and just press Escape, press OK. Now we're 15 channels <clears throat> for the radio. So then you press your Alt again. Then you go over to Program. And you'll see Read from Radio, Write to Radio, and Test Mode. So basically what you do, you want to read from radio. i got no radio attached to it right at the moment. But when you click Read Radio, you'll get Read Data from the radio. Press OK. And then she'll attempt to read it. So we're going to... Set a radio here, and uh, we're going to read what's on. Okay, so we're going to read the radio. I have no idea what's on this thing. But uh, we're going to read it. Click OK. And she should start reading it. Press any key. And of course, just freeze the list. And there's a bunch of different stuff on here. But anyways, so if you want to take the same information and you want to put it back into another radio say you want to copy and paste sort of thing just click alt right to radio click ok and she'll take that information and she'll dump it into another radio of the same type and uh, KBG48D requires a COM port type of uh, DB9 uh, cable to program the radio with the radio cannot be programmed with a USB cable of any type. USB is not going to work with KPG 48D. So anyways, hope that uh, works for you or helps you in some way. And of course, Kenwood program cable. That's the, the guts of it right there. Chip uh, circuit board is inside of this one here. So of course it's got to be added. It'll be plugged into the other one. But anyway, it's a 9 pin DB9. You can do either portables, portables or a mobile with it. So, anyways, that's uh, how you program the Kenwood. Uh, TK3101. So, and that's the program cable right there. Uh, another thing, just, just to let you know, the uh, Kenwood TK3101 and the VHF version, the TK2101, both of these radios are low power radios. They're 2 watts, 2 watt portable radios. You get about 2.5 watts out of them. 
depending on your battery. But uh, that's as much as he transmits. Anyway, guys, all the best. Train 63. We're out of here. Thank you.